we are still hovering around one, one, uh, 1,000, um, sorry, 100,000 tons of sugar, 1 million tons of sugar cane. And we've been, we fluctuated between 900,000 tons of sugar cane to up to almost 1.3. But as a country, we have not been able to jump 1.27 or something like 1.3. We've been stuck. And then we go up, then we come down. And that is not good for, for the factory. It's not good for the farmers. Our yields are between between 15 and 20 tons per acre on an average um, in the in the north. And our um, the factory claims they are very efficient, but we do know that there are times that they cannot receive more than a certain amount of cane on a daily basis. And there are many, many years that cane got left in the field. And it, that is value that, that could have been saved. And, and so forth. And right now, the price of sugar on the world market um, is very, very good. So there's great incentive to, for our industry to grow. The price of, of sugar that is bulk is, has good world market price, and the price of sugar for that is packaged or is ready to consume also have very good retail price. In, in fact, Mexico, Guatemala, in the Caribbean, and Belize is exporting sugar to to four or five Caribbean countries. We export it to Europe, to Taiwan, to various parts of the world, UK and, and the US. So there's an opportunity right now. The markets are looking really, really good for, for the sugar industry. And maybe this commission of inquiries is opportune to try to set really good conditions for a continued growth and a very having a try to trying to create as best as possible a very sustainable and rewarding industry for all parties.